this demo, we will show how we can access a Siemens S7-1200 PLC remotely using NetBiter Remote Access. This enables us to do configuration and debugging without actually being on site. We're assuming that a NetBiter gateway is already connected to my PLC in the remote location and that a NetBiter Argos account has been configured for remote access. As a PLC programmer, I run the NetBiter Quick Connect software on my computer, which will establish the secure tunnel to the PLC. Quick Connect is downloadable from netbiter.com or my Argos account. I log in using the username and password I have received from my NetBiter administrator. I can see that a system has been created, so I click on this and then move on to Add New Device, since I want to add my PLC. In this example, we're using a Siemens S7-1200 Ethernet PLC, so I choose this from the list and select Add Device. Since this is the first time I'm connecting, I need to specify the IP address I want my computer to have on the remote local area network. I do this under General Network Bridge Configuration. In this example, I want the IP address for my PC to be 192.168.0.25 on the remote local area network, since I know that this address is available. I also need to enter my NetMask. I now click Connect and the system starts establishing the tunnel. The channel is now open and these addresses have been saved. This means that the next time I want to access the PLC remotely, I can just start Quick Connect, select my PLC and click Connect. I can now access my PLC using my regular PLC configuration software. In this case we're using Siemens TIA Portal. Before we start configuring, it's a good idea to check the driver inside TIA Portal. With the remote tunnel now in place, I can do configurations just as if I was connected to the PLC on site. For example, I can select this configuration called Block 1, which I've programmed previously. I go to the online drop down menu and select Download to Device. When this is done, I select Load, and the configuration is now downloaded to my remote PLC. In my remote access window, I can see that we're exchanging data. When I'm finished with my configuration, I simply exit the PLC configuration software and close my remote connection.